Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I've gone back to an old set. Um, petal palette. I love this set. And we're going to be using this flower and this flower here. Um, for the sentiment, birthday wishes comes from Itty Bitty Birthdays. And I'm just using that. On the inside, I put, they say it's your birthday. So I'll be using that as well, which is on the bottom there. Um, to decorate the plain bit, all I done was using this Bloom by Bloom stamp set, which is a new, it's in the Occasions catalogue. And I just used that image all over it. So for this, you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighths, and folded in half, which I've already done. Two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I'm going to use Highland Heather this time at three and five eighths by five and seven eighths. So I need this and. This, oh, we need all them. Don't need the card base. Leave that there so I can see what I'm doing. Right, first of all, we'll do the big flower. You will need a mask for this. And we need black ink. And for this... We're going to go from corner to corner, uh, edge to edge, but diagonally. So just stamp that there. Look it up again. We actually need to put the mask over now because we're going to stamp over this leaf and we're just going to go there clean that off this stamp is very stained because I've used it so much when it first came out. So, put that there. I'm just squirting some stamp cleaner on it. There's my lid. And let that soak while I'm playing with this. Right. I've got the little stamp and we're going to extend this flower arrangement. Here I put birthday wishes down there. What I'm going to do, is because I don't like these white dots, I'm going to punch that out and sit it up there. So we'll put one of these flowers there. That's the only place I can put one. Unless I put that there and add just one coming off the leaf. Yeah. No, we don't need that no more. Clean that off. So we'll put that to one side to dry. Don't need this. Right, with this one, we got our little flower again. I just cleaned it, we didn't need to. And we're just going to put one of these in each corner. And 
now then with the sentiment they say it's your birthday we shall pop that in the middle and just pop that to one side to dry clean that up nice and with birthday wishes what I'm going to do is we're going to cut this off I am just going to pop that there then I can um, punch that out right let that dry Finish with that. Alright, with my Highland Heather, and I'm going to use grapefruit, no, gorgeous grape, because I want these to stand out, and my light flowery starry stamp. I'm just going to randomly stamp. Oh, where's my scrap? Stamp them off. I think that'll do because oh no, not that bit. This bit. Yeah. So clean that. I'll tell you what else I forgot. I put little dots on it and I think I got the dots from I did this one has some dots on it I knew I used it because it's stained <laughs> and then with this I just randomly put some dots near the flowers I think that will do. One there. Yeah. That will do nicely. Put that away. Put that away. Right. Back to the front quickly colour these in. I have got Island Heather which is not working very well. not doing nothing fancy with these flowers I'm just colouring them in just one colour
think I'm going to have to re-ink this one. Right, that's leaf. Petal, should I say, not leaf, and that's... And I'm going to use oh, reach it. a darker one on these little flowers. Definitely going to have to um, re ink my Highland Heather. Right, that stamp never stamped all the way down. So to fix that, I will try and find my black pen. It is. I will draw in the leaf and the stem and this. Finish off the flower. And then with Mossy Med, I think this is, I will just colour in the leaves. I do like the colour of this Mossy Meadow. Just we've stamped on top of some of the leaves from the other flower. A bit hard to work out what's what. I forgot about that. I made the red card oh, about four weeks ago, I think. Right, 
that bit's purple. Let's follow that in. There we are. Now what we do, get our paper snips and just cut down. this angle it's up to you if you want to leave a white border I didn't I cut on the black and if there's a white border showing I shall just show you what I do. Right, I'm taking this all out of camera, aren't I? Sorry about that. We've been having some lovely weather here in Essex. Sun's been shining chilly, but the sun has been shining. go out with just a thin jacket on if you're not going far like me I go to the shop just on around the corner I could go in my mobility scooter and shove my cardigan on I'll be warm enough right all I cut out I'll keep that a bit and this will sit on there doesn't that look pretty? And this we will punch out with the label punch. I think. Oh, it just fits. I'll sit that up there. I like that. In fact, I like that better than I like the red. It shows the pattern on the Highland Heather shows through better. Let's glue this on. Gluing all around the edges where I cut out. Oh, I never showed you what I did with the black. Bit late now. Sorry. What I do is I get my black um, blender pen, and with the wrong side facing me, I just go around the edge with the blender pen. Like this, I stick if I can right on the edge. I 
like that. And then I stick this on the card front. glue back on and let's get some mini dimensionals for this have I got any left Ooh. one two to check my card and see if we've got any more minis. Right, I'm going to just stick that there. Oh yes, I do like that better. Better than the red. And what we'll do, we'll just stick a few. No, not that ones. Silver glass gems on. the inside colour in the flowers right what I'm going to do I'm going to do one in the light to be different and one in the dark husband having his afternoon nap and it's annoying me. Just gnawing his head off. I'm sorry if you can hear him. I think I've just woke him up. Right, 
that's better. Right, glue this in. Sure, I've got it the right way. There we have it. One pretty card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button next to it, you will be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.